Right, so this is this is the second part of this of this two piece. Basically, I'm gonna just test. Oh, you're gonna know. You remember I told you it would be half an hour later I would um, check on it. Well, actually, off camera I've been topping up with water to make sure that it's nice and soft and that it, it, it's cooking down properly. You understand? So what I'm going to do, I'm, I grab one of the peas like that and squeeze it. See, it mash mm -hmm. out in, in, in my hand. Nice and soft. So I don't put this back in the pot. I can either taste it or throw it away. But it's nice and soft, and the meat, see, it's coming off the bone. So at this stage now, at that stage, what I'm going to do is this coconut cream. I'm, I think a half will do. Half, half of coconut cream will do. So I'm going to just rip this out the plastic. You don't have to wash this. You just put it in just as just as it is in the pot like that yeah mm -hmm. and then in while that is sort of um taking shape the next important thing that i'm going to do before i season it is come over this side because i'm going to i'll have to wash these this is this, this, this is a very important part of the of the um let me move this pot out mm -hmm. the way This is very important because if I'm going to be making the flour into this bowl. I've washed it several times already, but because I'm getting ready now to knead the flour, I have to make very sure that it's nice and clean. But then come again. Mm -hmm. My hand, I'm going to wash it with fairy liquid because fairy is very kind to your hands. Wash my hand thoroughly and properly because when you're making dumplings, you understand me? They said to sing the birthday song for, <laughs> for washing hands, but I've been washing hands all my life and I don't sing no birthday song. I wash it until it's clean. So even when the birthday song is finished, I'm still washing. You understand me? And you're gonna be making dumplings. Your fingernails must be nice and short. Mm -hmm. You see how you have those nails on? Mm -hmm. It's not advisable to make dumplings. Would it? Because what about gloves? If I was to wear gloves? Gloves is not hygienic mm -hmm. for dumpling because um, cause it's dumpling and it's all that kneading and it's, it's more or less making a dough. So your mm -hmm. hands or a spoon is, the, is specially so and if you're planning to make dumplings you have to take, take off the nails. Definitely. It's not advisable. With those nice tall nails of yours. So my hands feel like it's washed now, but excess washing to make dumplings. You understand me? Even though I've washed my hands thoroughly like that, I'm still gonna come back and wash it because I'm gonna handle the, the bag. You understand? Oh, there's one more thing. Stay right there. I'm gonna get up. A bottle of water. Whenever I'm making dumplings, I always use a bottle of water, pure water to make it because obviously it's flour and it's going into your stomach. So like like I said before, like I said before, um because this 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 is going into the stew piece you don't actually need um i'm going to make that into a dough i'm not going to make too much today because it's just spinners that i am going to actually make this is sea salt i'm going to put a little bit of that just a bit i don't like salt so i'm going to wash my hands again because i've handled the bag the mm -hmm. flour bag and i've handled the salt bottle that everybody hands are touching. So I'm gonna wash my hands again. Dry them. Dry my hands. And then I'm gonna use a spoon now. It's like you're mixing mortar. You know, when I was young in Jamaica and they used to mix mortar. This is how they do it. 
You mix it round and round with a spoon. When my mom used to need dumping, you know, it seemed like she was needing it forever because she would pick up the dough and knock it down and put it down. So once it's like you get it into a dough, then at this stage now, then you'll have to use your hands. Now you understand why I say your hands have to be clean, extra clean. So you, it's like you're making a dough. You need it, need it. It's a lot of energy to make dumplings, you know. You understand? And I put the spoon to one side. And I need, 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 need into a perfect dough. Oh, I'm glad I grew, I'm a grown-up now and I don't have to put so much energy. Mom used to say you have to knead it until, knead it until you don't see any of these things at the bottom. Mm. And she don't want it to waste. Oh my God, it's taking a lot of energy out of me to, to make a dough, but it's a matter of kneading, kneading, you know? If I was making fried dumplings, it would be, be it would be different because I have to knead it. You say, put it and pat it and pat it with glee. Knead it, knead it, and then leave it to rise. This is only plain flour, so there's no need for all that emphasis on this. This is just... Uh, uh, uh. Uh, if I was cooking soup, if I was going to cook soup, I would make like a round dumpling. I would do it like that in my hand. and You understand? Yeah. Make a round dumpling. You understand? Mm -hmm. what I was, if I was going to make a... If I was go cooking food, that would, be, that would be the size of my dumpling because I don't like small dumplings. You know, get it into a, a round dough, you know, and that will be the size if you're making soup. But I'm doing none of that today, I'm actually making stew peas, right? So come over this side because I'm actually making stew peas. Sorry about the the smoke, the, <laughs> the, the smoke, and um, you call these spinners okay yeah don't ask me why they call them spinners but that is that is just what what mom mom used to call them and i think that's what every jamaicans call them really you understand me anytime you're making stew is always spinners you understand and how do you know when it's ready, the, um, the spinners, does it? Does it well, run? when I put all the spinners in, mm -hmm. I'm going to season it up with um, all-purpose seasoning, um, scallion, thyme, you know, a bit of butter. That reminds me I might need some more butter. I might need to. Oh, I think I've got... I think I've got margarine, so you could I, I could put margarine in it. So you just go like that. And you're making spinners. Oh, I used to love stew peas when I was growing up. It was my favorite. Oh la la. <laughs> so the stew peas is on the way, and then the next stage. While the stew peas is cooking, I'm going to wash the rice. Because the stew peas and rice, you have to cook, cook the rice separately. Not like rice and peas where you cook the peas halfway and then you put um, you put the rice in after. You can get away with them. Um, just make it cooking the rice separately on this occasion. Maybe I've made too much, too much flour. I'm notice I've, I'm, I've I do things excess. <laughs> yeah, but it's it looks is good. coming. Yeah, it, it looks it look yummy and once and the it's, smell already coming yes. through. You, yeah, yeah, you can smell it. You know why it smells so nice? It's mm. the it's the coconut cream blend with the garlic. Mm. So when I put the thyme in. I'm go gonna put the thyme and the scallion in and the, on the all-purpose seasoning and a bit of margarine and leave it to simmer. 
and when it's finished cooking it's gonna it's gonna have that rich rich stoopies taste and that's what makes it so lovely because it form like a custard around it it's gonna form like a custard around it like that mm -hmm. you see yeah wow yeah it's 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 getting there it's getting there make sure because i love dumplings so i'm making sure i make a whole lot and then again the flour give it that sort of richness because you know like when you're making banana porridge and in order for it to to get that thickness and richness you have to mix flour in a paste and put it in there if you watch my videos you will see how i made the banana porridge yeah i have to see the porridge yes i've never made porridge before oh, really no i'm always get you know the easy what is <laughs> what it, no no easy instant nothing <laughs> you need the proper porridge to get all the nutrients because mm. the banana give iron the coconut is good i put fruit in mine though fresh fruit if i when fresh I eat, fruit yeah like i put bananas in that it. sound like you're making a cereal mm. okay yeah so I'm getting there slowly. I'm just gonna put in all of these and then I'm gonna season up my pot. Cause the coconut cream is in it as well. You have to give it time to to cook properly. You don't want it half half cooked. Otherwise, as daddy would say, it would puff you. <laughs> oh my daddy, he was a good chef, you know, he used to cook and bake. And my dad made the best juice. Oh God, I miss that man. It's been 31 years since he died and I still miss him, man. He used to make something called Blue Draws. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like a funny name, but Blue Draws was good. He made it in banana leaves. Oh, la, la. Oh, my God. Blue Draws, pudding, cherry juice, blend up, um all those rich fruit juice or anything he, he oh if it is my dad juice nobody on earth can make juice as good as my father and while he was cooking he wanted to he want to make sure you give him assistance notice i'm making the spinners them bigger yeah because i love when i'm eating my rice with the peas i like my spinners when i share it on the plate you will see how it how it how it how it looks some people make spinners tiny mm -mm. you can make it that size you can make it i think that size is the is the preferred size if you if you're cooking for the public yeah and you're gonna make spinners you make it like that yeah. maybe it's to conserve or maybe it's just for presentation purposes but i love them big i love my spinners nice and big yeah coming on it's coming on my stew mm -hmm. piece is on the way so that's it there so the next the next step of the way now i'm gonna leave it there for a bit come over here because i'm gonna do the seasoning now <laughs> so just put that in the sink wash my hands again come over here wash me mm -hmm. wash my hands because this is very important Wash off all the flour off my hands because I'm gonna cut up the um. Come, I'm gonna I'm gonna do the do this part of it now. Right, I'm gonna take the. Some people for best results, you see, they tie something to end to this, like to the time, cut off. Cut off that that part. Yeah, I wash this thoroughly. Get the scallion or the spring onions, as they say. This is all for flavoring, you know. All for flavoring all for flavoring to give it that nice jamaica 
that's why the other day when I was cooking and Orion came, my big my first son, he could smell the cooking from outside. He could smell he could smell my cooking from outside when he when he I'm just gonna when he when he entered the door, he said, Oh mom, I can smell your cooking. Come. <laughs> So I'm gonna wash this thoroughly. Because these time they grow outside in the in the in the dirt, so they've been through they've been through a lot of handling. You understand? So I wash it nice then. Notice I'm I'm washing it with warm water. Come over here. So I'm gonna put it in the pot like that now to give it that mm -hmm. flavor. Then I'm gonna get I'm gonna get all purpose the all purpose seasoning. Yeah? Now I, I wouldn't put ginger in this. If I was cooking rice and peas, I would put ginger. You understand? Now the all purpose, what it's basically doing is just giving it that taste. And then wash the wash this um this pepper. All these you put that at the top there. And basically all these are just to give it um give it that flavor. Let me put some butter in. Let me put some butter in. This is the vegetable margarine. Yeah? I'm just gonna put some uh, some of this in it. Just for taste, not too much. So about that, that amount, can you see? Mm -hmm. So then you, 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 you sort of, you turn it up now. Mm -hmm. The stew piece is on the way now. That's, that's the stew piece coming to, as they say, it's coming to a head. I haven't yet put any salt in. I don't really like salt, you know. The all purpose is seasoning will I think it's got that salty because it's all purpose obviously everything is in it you understand so you don't put tomatoes there's a rule to cooking there is a rule when you cook it. you don't put tomatoes in stew peas and you don't put tomatoes in in um curry chicken Never, never, ever. That's mixer, okay. and all this now is giving it that vital, that vital taste, that vital flavor. You understand? Watch it simmer down. On the last thing that I'm gonna put in now, before I close off this segment, is the sweet pepper. But I'm gonna wash, wash, wash it first. Come over this side. I'm just gonna put a bit of sweet sweet pepper in it. Like I said, it's all for flavor. All for flavor, my dear. You're gonna see the end result of this stew piece today. Next time, you think you'll be able to make your own stew piece? I hope so. What is it? <laughs> no, what? no, tell me, tell me what is it that you think you would struggle with? Just, just let me wash these. Tell mm. me what you think you would struggle with. It's not that I think I struggle. It's just you know sometimes when you taste other people's food and you do it yourself the same way, it still doesn't have that taste. It's about somebody's hand. Somebody, okay. Yeah, well, I'm like yeah. that. Yeah, because you do, you don't measure things. I do. I would have to do everything by measurement. Oh. Do you understand? You, you seems like you know how much you're putting in and how much to not put in. I think and his years of his mm. years. I put some black pepper on it. Okay. I just put some black pepper. And I love salt. That's my problem. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So that's that's it basically. Yeah. 
So I'm going to leave that now to simmer down and form a, a rich sort of um, gravy. Mm -hmm. All right. So that's 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 this soup is almost done. You understand me? So the next stage now, while that is cooking, is to wash the rice okay. and um, put it to boil. All right. Mm -hmm. So thank you for your time, um, T. You've done a great job. Thank you for having me. And I'm hoping that when you do your own very stupies, that you'll get the same results as me. All right? Yes. So that's it for now. Thanks for your time. Keep subscribing, you lot. And I'll catch you later. <laughs>